this. Yeah, this is the this. best for students. For students, yeah, it's like basically everything inside. How many inside. pages is it? Ooh, like, I'm gonna sell your It's all good. 4.53 kg. And it's sold for for like uh, six point four. You are going to be doing a lot of trial and error. You might buy them. It has everything you need in America here. When when you want to get anything like clothes, Indomie for the Nigerians <laughs> in the house. You know. But this is Everything's a wrap. So this is my favorite spot because you can see international food. Mm -hmm. So come along with me, and I'm gonna show you. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my friend Is it body cake Belu? So yeah. and if you're wondering what we're going to be doing from the thumbnail and the title you already know So we're going to be showing you how the American market looks like mm. We're going to show you the prices of things basically how to shop So when you are coming or when you come you will know how things are you know, things, How things happen here. So just stay tuned and we are going to show you You see, they, are, they identify them based on their names, the nutrients, the price, different sections. But typically, as Nigerians, we're used to yeah. this type, which is called Roma tomatoes. You can see the price and everything. So pick a, pick a bunch of tomatoes, you know. That's how, we what we use, that's how we do it. Also, typically, you have to check them. Some of them are, you know, pretty soft. You have the banana. Yeah, banana. You have the color guide. When I first, yeah, sure. When I first came here, I used to get like uh, the very ripe ones. <laughs> <laughs> Two days later, it's all bad. But when you come over, you have to like look at the color guide, and then they tell you like it's gonna be ready in like 3.5 days, ready in a couple of days, and ready to eat now. So you, the best thing to pick from this bunch is something with this because the other ones are pretty much all right, if you can see. So we get this, and we're at least in like two days, it should go dark. So we also have mangoes. In case you are wondering where to get your mangoes from, there are some kind of mangoes here, but I don't know the type, but you can see it's 52 cents each one. And we have coconuts as well. There are some coconuts. And we have planted. Oh, I love planting. So I'm going to get some. It's 68 cents. You get it from here. So we're going to get this. Um, Again, set up. So you can see all the berries. But then you come to my favorite fruit, grapes. They are quite expensive here, but you just need to find the right, you know, the right one. Me, I don't, you can never go wrong with grapes. Grapes are always nice. Yeah, I love so, it, but it's expensive. Guys. It's expensive. So guys, um, they have watermelon here. So in case you are wondering, um, will I see watermelon in the United States? And you can see the prices. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. So this is, so everything fresh produce, you get it from this place. So guys, when we, after we're done with the fresh produce, the next place you go on is like all the aisles. They are all arranged in like A2s, A4s, depending on the warm up you're at. So and then they have every all the contents on each aisle listed on the board as you can see in green and yellow over there. So you don't have time, you don't go waste your time on each aisle. So whatever you're going, as I'm pushing my car, yeah. <laughs> you look for look at the yeah. aisle and then you figure out what you want. And then that's when you go in. So guys, um, we're in, at the ice cream section. and I love ice creams. I'm going to show you my favorite. And it's not like my favorite, but um, I 
take it because it's cheap, it's economical. <laughs> so, um, um, this product called Great Value is like one of the cheapest products here. So, you can see the chocolate is 2.24. budget like 2.24 these prices are excluding tax because mm -hmm. by the time you are going to put them in the car they are going to ask they're going to charge like you taxes i don't know how many percent but you are going to still pay taxes on yeah. them this one is close to nigerian bread okay <laughs> so this one is uh what this rolls i don't know if yeah it's a little on the upper side, but you enjoy it. Yeah, it's a little bit pricey. And then, um, <laughs> my favorite is this one. Mm, I've never tried it. It's very nice. Mm. A little on the upper side. Okay. And it's a it's kind of smaller. Oh, I, favorite spot because you can see international food mm -hmm. so come along with me and I'm gonna show you <laughs> this is, yeah this is kind of like the beans that is kind of Nigerian yeah. this black eyed pea mm -hmm. and it's sold for 1.48 excluding taxes mm -hmm. so it's kind of Nigerian iron beans Mm -hmm. So, um, there are other kind of beans, but I haven't tried any. Honestly, this is the only one I've tried. Yeah. We stick to um, home. <laughs> <laughs> so, and if you're wondering what kind of tomatoes you're going to use for your Nigerian jollof, Ghana jollof, all the jollof, um, yeah. I usually use, there are two types I use. My favorite is um, these two, but I love this better because it's cheaper, mm -hmm. it's more economical. So, I go with this, so it's very good for your jollof and the prices are, this little can is um, 72 cents mm -hmm. and um, for the other one, for the contagina, it is, I think it's 78 cents, so it's kind of like difference of mm -hmm. 6 dollars, oh, no, 6 cents, six cents. <laughs> <laughs> so um, if you are looking for Nigerian rice, um, kind of parboiled rice, oh, well. this works better, this for is, I tried a couple, just like two types, and this is one of the best ones, and it's sold for wow. 1.64, I have never seen a bag of rice, like the Nigerian kind of bag of rice, mm -hmm. like the Nigerian bag of rice, like the big bag, yes. I have never seen something like that, so they, they have different kind of rice here, but I don't eat them, so this, I don't know anything about them. Another thing to add again, like this type, when you cook them, they always come together. Oh, you know, they are sticky. They are sticky. Oh. So with the papaya rice, there's some that can stand on its own. So yeah, this should be so it's, your It's the best, best for jello rice. Here we have the spaghetti section, and you can see, though, but I don't buy them. I used to buy them when I came newly, when I didn't believe on that understand that or understood the American system <laughs> but now I go for the really cheap one and exactly. I'm going to show you um, uh, where is that my cheap spaghetti yeah okay. this is my favorite now because favorite, it's yeah. cheap <laughs> and it's sold for 1.58 oh, okay. remember the other size which I showed you is um, is it's really small and it's 82 cents so i feel buying two pounds for 1.58 is reasonable than buying this guy which is 454 oh, what? one pound right yeah one one pound or yeah because if you join um if you calculate two of this like mm -hmm. this is more exactly the spice section yeah, different kinds of spice they're a little bit pricey than what we have back home because 
this is turmeric, ground turmeric, and you can see the price is sold for. Oh, yeah. um, you can, can you? I don't know if you can see that. So bay leaves. If you want to cook your jollof rice, bay mm. leaves are here. And um, where is nutmeg? Yeah, nutmeg. I buy this because it's my favorite product because oh, wow. it's cheap, great value, and uh, oh, the price is um, right over there. You can see how much it's been sold for. Mm -hmm. So this can serve it for a long time, and I think it's one of the cheapest you can get. So this is the candy section. If you like sugar, sweet sweet things. Oh. So guys, um, if you're a Nigerian and you're thinking this thing is kiddish, when I say kiddish, it's like dried. Yeah, suya is beef, like pepper, it's kind uh, of roasted, I don't know. And you think this is skittish? It is not because I fell a victim last, the last time I saw it, and man, it wasn't really funny because I spent over ten dollars. I think I bought the big part, the peppered one. Mm. That one is about ten dollars plus tax and everything. Probably got to eleven, and I couldn't eat it. Wow! You don't want to hear what happened later. Yeah, I don't, I don't try things, I don't know. Yeah, you are going to be, when you are going to be shopping, you are going to be doing a lot of trial and error. You might buy them and you won't like them. So if you like her shoe notes, this is it. And you can see the price. <laughs> it's going to cost you a fortune. Yeah. <laughs> me, Assist. Um, for the Nigerians in the house, <laughs> me, I like to drink Gary and all that. You know, mm -hmm. So sometimes I go with all this, you know, substitute uh, gran different kinds of granite, the ones that are salted. Ooh. You need How to look. Some of them are like five bucks, some of them are like. Oh, yeah, big boy. <laughs> yeah. So, but it lasts you a longer time, you know. You prefer to buy something like this that can go a longer way. I never knew this background. Yeah, like peanuts, you granola. Know, so, yeah, but you need to look. It, um, you need to look, sorry. So, they call it um, peanuts and not granuts. You need to look very well because most of them, they are really salty. So, they will put it on the. It then because I know I fell a victim once, I bought one that was super salty, I couldn't eat it. So you need to look and then you see. Some of them have a little bit of, um, what do they call that, sugar coating. Um, uh, like, you know, that peanut. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Hey, popcorn lovers, here we are. <laughs> Most of these, you just microwave them in the, they'll give you the directions at the back. Obviously, and you just microwave them like sometimes two minutes, and it just comes out big, and you enjoy yourself. I'm mm -hmm. not a fan of popcorn. But by, some are really way. salty. You gotta be careful. Be careful of salt when you're in America. Because there's a lot of salt. <laughs> they like salt and sugar a lot. So when I first came, because I I don't like drinking tap water, so we get all we usually get all this um great value water. <laughs> What Great you value is your friend. Is your friend, yeah, exactly. As a student, is your friend. That time, what I used, we started doing, I and most of my roommates, we got like a filter. So we filter our water now. We just invested in it, like sometimes it's close to like 30 bucks. Yeah. It's, it seems a lot for first time, but you, you can use it for a lifetime. Too, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, here yeah, are drinks. I like this one because it's like Nigerian wine. It's mm. nice, but today I want to try something different. So I'll be going for the orange pineapple. Pineapple. Pineapple juice cup. I didn't hear that. say pineapple. Okay. Like pineapple. 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 Show them the price too. So you see, it's 2.98. We have some other. Once. Yeah, for me, what I usually go for, I'm Let always a, like I. If you remember from earlier in the video, I told you I'm a fan of grapes, so I always go for <laughs> raspberry grape. Or, what? Yeah. Not quite Yeah. I should. And, uh, be... it's, and it's nice. It's and like it's great uh, value. Great, exactly. Great value is your friend. <laughs> she just taught me that today, but it's true. <laughs> Anything I always get is great value. Yeah, because it's like. All right, you can see the different kinds of uh, coke. Similar to the ones back home, and you know the good thing about it, they're pretty affordable too, like 1.68. So I'm like, they I normally get. I'm a fan of Fanta. I love this it one. It used to be what? It's been a while. I bought yeah, this. Yeah, it used to be one dollar, but right. now it's 1.25. 1 
so I like the strawberry flavor. See me, I go, I'm original. So I go for our Fanta back. <laughs> Mainly when you come to get eggs, yeah. One important thing: most of them are just packed and stuff, so they can get cracked. So it's always important to open it, you can zoom in, and look and make sure that none of them is cracked. So you don't, like you see this one. You see it's cracked here. So then I will return it. You can see the milk. I usually get this ones. They're quite affordable, but one thing I always look at is when it expires. They always, from the time, they always put like two weeks, typically. Clearance, these are like the things that it's been here for quite a while, yeah. and they're just trying to get rid of it. So it's quite cheaper than the actual price. They want to just get rid of quickly, mm -hmm. so lots of good things can be there can sometimes. Be there. So you start them. your shopping. Your baby can always wear this. We are getting into the kitchen section where you have all the plates. You can see dinnerware and stuff, different style. So remember, Walmart is your default market. It has everything you need in America here. When, when you want to get anything like clothes, electronics, food, um, toiletries, anything to take care of yourself, always start from Walmart. And then from there you can branch out to other little markets out there. So if you're confused, always ask questions. <laughs> it always helps. <laughs> Good so guys basically we've done our monthly shopping i think you said so you've done mm -hmm. yours i've done mine as well so um done uh, we're not really here to buy a lot of things so we're just here to take you on a ride indomie, they like, like indomie but it's okay indomie. <laughs> noodles <Indomie. laughs> in nigeria everything is indomie yeah. shop. so let's no, where like... is the section of noodles so we're going to no, show you indomie. okay so this is like a the, uh, the perfect close ones to um, Indomie for the Nigerians <laughs> in the house. You know. But this is a ramen noodles. Yeah. You know, here is like, I like the chicken flavor. They have the beef, yeah, they have yeah. uh, shrimp. I've not And that is the price, and it's yes. just 12 inside. Yeah. So, shrimp. I've tried all the flavors. I think I prefer the. I've not tried the shrimp. I've tried everything. I think I prefer the. Um, I always stick to my chicken. <laughs> When I first came, I was always going for this one till my friend saw me, showed me this. Yeah, this is the this. best for students. For students, it has like basically everything inside. How many inside. pages is it? Ooh, like, I'm gonna it's all good. 4.53 kg. And it's sold for, for like uh, 6.48. Right? As opposed to this one that has a couple, some of them like this, are like over 10. 
they have meatballs. Wow, this is the first time I've seen. Oh yeah, I don't know where really get those. It's probably the most expensive out of all of them. Pork is very cheap. <laughs> it's a cheap stuff. That's why it's the need quality. Think about quality. Oh, no. Normally I get it at this, yeah. but it's very expensive too. This or there's this one. Either this rabbi. You see, you can see the price. You can see that it's probably the most expensive out of the three. Have your bags here already. So, guys, um, we are done shopping. Basically, not like shopping, shopping, but so I hope you've gotten an idea of how the American market looks like. And yeah, we're about to go home now. So thank you, Eze. I don't know if you introduced yourself at the beginning of this. Oh, place, yeah. Please. Sorry, it's guys. It's not too late. My <laughs> name is uh, Eze Bolike Belu, an industrial engineering major at the South Dakota School of Mines. You know, here they call me Easy, but it's Eze. You know, <laughs> it was nice going on an adventure with you guys. I hope you learned a lot. You know, Walmart is your default market. Always remember that it has everything you need. Yeah. So guys, um, thank you so much for coming to my channel. And I appreciate it. I'm glad you came. Mm -hmm. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, subscribe. to my channel. Very important. It just takes a second. Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. bye. Catch you in my next yeah. video.